Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to talk about tire pressure, how a tire pressure gauge works, and some of the math ideas behind pressure. This tire pressure gauge here goes from 0 to 110 psi at 2 pound increments. A psi is a pound per square inch. How this thing works is you're going to take the valve cap off, hold the tire pressure gauge on there, and see that it gets about 70 PSI. So the inside gauge right there is pounds per square inch, that's 70 PSI. The outside is a metric equivalent, that's kilograms per square centimeter. So it's five kilograms per square centimeter, or 70 PSI. You should always check your tire pressure gauge before any long trip. Uh, good way to make sure you're running safely. All right, let's put the camera over my shoulder and talk about pressure a little bit. So pressure, is equal to a force over an area. And on this gauge, we're in PSI in the US, and that's gonna be pounds per square inch. So it's gonna be pounds over square inches. So if you figure out the area that's pushing down and the pounds, then you figure out your pressure or your PSI. So here's an example. Here's a five pound weight. Here's a block which if I measure that block, it's one inch by one inch. So the area of that square is one times one or one square inches. And if I put that on my hand, the pressure going down onto my hand is five pounds per square inch, right? Because it's a five pound weight. So it's five pounds per one square inch or five pounds per square inch, or five PSI, pounds per square inch. If I took a bigger block, let's say this block right here is one by five, I found it, its area by doing base times height, one times five is five square inches. I put that on my hand, and now I have five pounds per five square inches. I have five pounds per five square inches. Five divided by five is one, and I have one PSI. So in this scenario, there's five PSI on my hand. In this scenario, there's less pressure. There's only one PSI on my hand, and I could feel the difference. So again, pounds or pressure is pounds over square inch. I have a five pound weight and I go to a really small block like this. Let's say this block is a half by a half. It's even smaller than that. So now this block is a half inch by a half inch. Multiply across the top, across the bottom to get a quarter square inches. So this is going to be five pounds per one quarter square inches. The way I divide Fractions is I multiply by the reciprocal. So five divided by a quarter is the same as five times flipping that over, four over one, 20. So now I'm jumping up to 20 PSI. So if I put this little square down and I put it down here and I put this weight on it, the pressure now is 20 PSI. It's actually noticeably different pressure on my hand. It kind of hurts versus this was only one PSI, this was five PSI, and the, the smaller the surface area, much more pressure, even though the weight's held constant. Now imagine if I had a teeny little surface area like the tip of a screw, you know, that might only be one one hundredth of a square inch or even smaller than that. If I put that on my hand and put five pound weight on it, right, if that area was one one hundredth of an inch, and a five pound weight, five divided by one one hundredth would be 500 PSI, probably enough pressure to put that screw into my hand. So I'm certainly not gonna try that. All right, well, so hopefully you learned something here to overview on tire pressure, pressure, what pressure is, how you use it in a math class or in a shop. Pressure is equal to force over area. In the US, we do pounds per square inch. 
how much weight force is getting pushed down over the area that it's going on to. Uh, understanding pressure is really a big idea um, from automotive to construction to plumbing to tanks, pumps. Compressed air is pretty much in every shop. I can't think of a shop that doesn't have compressed air in it, whether it's a metal shop or auto shop. Hope you enjoyed the video and it taught you something about pressure. If it did, go ahead and hit like. Please comment below if you work with pressure in the trades or if you work with pressure in your job or in school. I appreciate you watching. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing.